we've been sold a bill of goods in British Columbia that we need Site C to save the world from climate change. Well, I have news for you. If you understand climate change, we are so behind the eight ball right now, we need to start thinking about mitigation and adaptation. And the last thing you want to do for in this province with an increasing population and climate change, the absolutely last thing that we should be doing is destroying some of the best uh, agricultural land, and this is quite literally some of the best in the country. In 1985, BC was 73 percent self-sufficient in food production. We've got a growing population, a shrinking agricultural land base. Some of our best land is going under urban development. Today, we only produce 40, 48 percent of our food. That's a ministry. That's a 2006 Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Fisheries statistic, and the actual. Uh, at the time, only 43% of our vegetables that we're creating. So we're going in the wrong direction. Richard Neufeld, who was formerly the minister, energy minister of British Columbia, last year, the week the Olympics started, he was in Fort St. John talking to the city council and the regional district. I was there to hear it. He said over 50% of the electricity from Site C is needed to go north to the Horn River Basin, north of Fort Nelson, to fuel the shale, the shale gas development of the Horn River Basin. Now there's no transmission line north to the Horn River Basin. So when you hear that Site C, the new estimate is 7.9 billion, that would be, if that plan happens, that will be plus 400 kilometers of new transmission lines. So, you know, 7.9 billion is a lowball estimate. January 2010, the oil and industry new magazine, the Oil and Gas Inquirer, had an article about how they want to send Horn River gas to the Alberta tar sands because they extract that tar sands with steam. It's called SAG-D, Steam Assisted Gravity um, Extraction. They need electricity to create that steam, so they're going to take flood a, a, a river, create electricity, use it to make highly ecologically damaging natural gas, um, an unconventional gas, send it to the tar sands to take dirty oil, and here's the clencher. That tar sands oil, they're looking at taking it to the west coast to, to on the Horn River, I mean, sorry, the um, Enbridge pipeline. Super tanker port in killer whale habitat on the west coast.